Hello, this is Evangelist Dr. Robert L. McKim Sr. from Carrollton, Ohio. There have been some things said yesterday that, of course, I'm not happy with. There's also, uh, Well, long story short, you know, I did a video talking about what this person said. And now, people are running with it and, and saying things that isn't true. First off, Renee never molested a child as, as an adult. So let's set that straight right now. And I'm not going to go into details, but it was something that happened. It was between her and one of her sisters. But her and her sister made up. They, they forgave each other and they apologized. But John Henry Andrews, just like Satan, the devil himself, is accuser of the brethren. He is trying to accuse me and accuse Renee of things that is not true. So it's time to stop John Henry Andrews now. And it's time for the rest of you stupid moronic LGBT so-called human beings to stop also. Because your agenda is to change the world to your viewpoint and, and even your, you, you agnostics and atheists, you know, my Bible tells me that there's going to be a lot of you people running rampant on the face of the earth in the last days. And I am going to be hated for preaching the truth. The Bible also tells me that you will know them by their fruit. Well, what's one of the fruits of the Bible? Long suffering. As it says here in First uh, Corinthians 13, the fruit of the Spirit is love suffers long, or long suffering, is kind, does not envy, love does not pray itself, or I mean, yeah. It is not puffed up, does not behave rudely, does not seek its own, it is not provoked, thinks no evil, does not rejoice in iniquity. But rejoices in the truth, bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. See, here's something that gets me. What does a lot of the uh, LGBT people want? They want to puff themselves up, they want to parade around. 
They want to seek their own. And they do evil things. But that is not true love. You don't know what true love is. The love that God created. Just like uh, Renee's stepfather. He wants to puff himself up. And think he's the greatest. Like Muhammad Ali. The greatest. Well, you know what? Even the greatest. Even the greatest people die. Eventually. I'm not saying I'm great. I'm just saying. God gives me messages to tell people I'm a prophet. And he doesn't want to believe in just 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 like in the times of Jeremiah. People didn't believe in the prophets. They uh, imprisoned the prophets. They beat the prophets. They did a lot of horrible things to the prophets because they wanted to worship their false gods. There was uh, something that was uh, brought up to here on uh, Facebook that I wanted to talk about real quick. Is in uh, the Bible. In uh, Daniel 3.25 where it talks about, and here's the uh, King James Version. He answered and said, Lo, I see four men loose walking in the midst of the fire, and they have no, sh no hurt. No hurt. And... Uh, form of uh, the fourth is like the Son of God. Then they're going on saying uh, in the, the NIV it says Sons of Gods. And let me minimize this real quick so I can bring up uh, another picture. Real quick here. And this is from my Bible. The, the new King James that I use. And it, all, it says right here at the end. It has God, Son of God. But it has a little uh, uh, asterisk thing there. That says right here. Or a Son of God. And the reason why it, it, in some Bibles it says gods is because you gotta remember where uh, did these people come from? These people were Babylonians. They spoke mostly Aramaic, not Hebrew, Aramaic. There's Babylon, the Babylon Empire during the time of Daniel. Turkey, Syria, Assyria, Iraq, Iran, Saudi Arabia. And Jordan and some of Egypt.
where uh, where the Taliban ISIS all these evil people come from that just want to destroy us you, and you got to remember at uh, um the air make this is what this is why this is why that uh, they believe in Allah as their God because Allah is the air make equivalent to Ihala or also Ihalim. I've been studying, and of course, here's uh, where I got from. If you read all this right here, this explains why Ihalim, plural noun, meaning gods. And the singular form is Ihala, or with the de definite article attached. Ihalin is an Aramaic plural for gods. Gotta remember that, the, like I said here, it says that. The, it uh, was written in uh, Aramaic, not Hebrew. Study and, and show thyself approved before you post stuff on Facebook that's not true. Or any place else for that matter. I mean, they've been, you know, taking these videos I've been saying and, and trying to find fault in me on this uh, Kiwi farm because they hate me for my preaching. Jesus said, you will be hated for my name's sake. They don't believe in God, they don't believe in Jesus. They just want to believe in free love. And then, of course, uh, what was it? That the person said it here. Where well, they're talking about karma. You know what? I don't believe in karma. I believe in the hand of God Almighty. And the hand of God Almighty is... Well, you might think he's slow, but he's swift. He, he, he does things in his time. So, you know... They're, they're trying to constantly hurt me, say, say hurtful things. But all they're getting from me is the truth. 
They don't know how to love. Because this fake Robert McCam that I want removed from fate from uh, I want removed from uh, Google from from YouTube altogether and commented here's proof that Renee molests children how disgusting See, they're taking what uh, her stepfather said. Excuse me, my, my camera's not they're wanting to be in focus. There we go. Taking what the, what uh, her stepfather said, and they're running with it. They're saying things that is not true. And it disgusts me to no end on how and what they're doing. I mean, you know, words are words, but words do hurt. You're saying a lot of stupid things, a lot, a lot of stupid, stupid things. Hello. Hang on, I'm trying to. get back here to my channel and um, this is yeah um, this fake Robert McCam this is evangelist Robert L. McCam so what they do, they take my videos and they chop them up and they make my videos their own. These are my videos. You have no right to take my videos and chop them up and use them for yourself. This is private property. And you don't respect private property and you don't respect anybody. I want this taken down. If you don't do it, I want uh, Google to do it. Or the FBI, because this is hate. This is a hate crime. Just like what happened down in Orlando with that, with that guy that claimed to be with ISIS. Gays hate me. So, you know, what's the difference if, uh, gays hate or, uh, ISIS hates? To me, there's no difference when you hate somebody because of their, their belief, their faith. Is a hate crime. All because some stupid judges in Washington, D.C. said that uh, marriage should be for everybody. That still does not give them the right to go against a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ and who stands on the word of God and try to force them to bow down to their false gods. And that's what you're trying to do. Force me to bow down to your false gods. I'm not doing it. 
You can come here, kill me, have me arrested, have Ray, Renee arrested for the lies that her stepfather is saying. But then you'll come out, oh, they're being attacked by the gays. They're being attacked by the LGBT community. We're, we're, we're condemning ISIS, but yet they're doing the same thing that ISIS is doing to a Christian minister and a disabled woman because they hate just the same. There's no difference in hate. When you hate somebody because they will not bow down to your belief, I'm not saying bow down to my belief. I'm saying, hey, Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. No one goes to the Father but by and only through Him. And you know what? I do not have tits. Okay? It's just the way my shirt is and I'm sitting in my recliner. Fear God before it's too late. God bless you. Have a blessed day.